Hi, this is Garrett with Command Consult, and if you are looking to implement the DTD2 system within your database that is calling the two different letters each week in your database, so every quarter you are calling everyone in your database, this is going to be the video for you. So, how we're going to get started is we're going to look at our contacts here. And so, I've got my contacts all set up here. You can see I have my great friends Donald Duck and Mickey Mouse and a uh, bunch of fun people for our test today. Uh, so, if you're not familiar with the DTD2 setup, uh, I have an old schedule from 2021 here. Just kind of tried to find something that is easy to view. Uh, you can see how these DTD2 groups are. Uh, you have A and W, B and E, D and O. So this is, uh, you can utilize this either first name or last name. Uh, I believe most people use it on the last name. Uh, so utilizing this, if you wanted to start with the last name. Okay, so you do that. Let's just say we are wanting, it is the third week and we wanna call people with the last name D and O. Let's get this all set up. Now, as we set this up in our command database, there's going to be some upfront stuff for us to do but just know that next time we go through this in our database uh, for the next quarter it's going to be significantly easier for us so let's get started so we're going to go right here into context and like i said it's d and o so what we can do is we can go into here and you have the name option right here so it, if you didn't know you can actually click on name and sort this uh, in alphabetical order. Uh, we'll click sort by last name, A through Z, and we can go through there. Now, I don't have a lot in this test example for you of names, but we can start clicking, and we have D and D and D there, and now we've got all the Ds. Uh, you can scroll down a little bit more and look for the O's. Do know you can show more than 10 at a time. You can show up to 500 contacts at a time. I assume you have uh, more than just 10 contacts in your database. Uh, but as you get that all set up, you'll be able to select all those that you have for that specific letter. I would recommend, unless the letters are right next to each other um, in the alphabet, you're gonna just choose one letter and select all of that of that letter that first time. Once you've done that and selected all of the uh, that specific letter, then you can go over here and hit select bulk action and then go into add tags. We're gonna bulk tag these. Uh, so again, you're going to figure out what the uh, group is. And so this is D and O. So we're actually use that as the specific tag. So we'll type in D and O. Now note, I don't actually have this tag yet. So we're gonna create a tag for it. So we'll hit create tag and we can pick a color. Now this part's completely up to you. If you have a system for this, uh, you can do that. My suggestion is just be consistent with every letter set. Uh, it's probably gonna make it a little bit easier. So if you know that your DTD2 uh, tags are all, let's just say orange, then you just, you're just you just gonna be consistent with that would be my only recommendation. So let's just say it's D and O. We'll go ahead and hit create tag. Now we go. And you can see I've created an A and W one before, so you can have that there. But uh, so now that we have that uh, D and O, it's selected. You can see right there. We can hit Add Selected. Now we've got that all set up in here, and they're all going to be tagged. It doesn't show up immediately, so don't freak out if you haven't uh, or if you don't see it pop up. If you actually open up, we'll just click on. Uh, Rose Dawson and open her up in a new tab and you're going to see sure in fact it's D and O she is tagged there so now that we've got those all tagged and if you hit the refresh button it will automatically pop up with the tag there too just heads up now the next part is going to be you'd want those O's in there as well so again you can just scroll until you get to the section with any last names of O's in this example I don't have any O's so I won't click on it but you would just be able to do that uh, let's just say this had a last name of an O uh, you select all those bulk action, add tags, and now, since I already have it created, I start typing it, you'd already have that one done, and you'd be able to add the O's in there as well. Once you're all set there, you're gonna be able to filter your tags. So you'd go through this entire system and have those tagged. So spend a day, it, like I said, it'll 
depending how big your database is, might take you uh, more than a few minutes to get through all this. But once you go through and get everything tagged, you're actually gonna be able to, on each week, uh, do this. So let's just say it's week one, it's time for us, or, uh, or let's just say we've started going through and we're gonna get to week three. And this could do, you're gonna do this every time for your first week, uh, or your first time doing DTD2 after you've tagged them. So what you'll do is you're going your contacts and you can go into filter and I just have all these uh, tags set up currently. We're gonna do, uh, uh, what was D and O is what we created. You can see we've got that selected there. We can actually just select that tag and now when we hit apply, only ones with that tag will set up. So we'll go ahead and now we can start um, calling them from here or, uh, my suggestion of do one step further to kind of create a call task as a reminder each 90 days is you can actually select them all and you can add them to a smart plan. Hit our add to smart plan and you can do, if you have already added the quarterly call campaign. So I already have the quarterly call plan on here. If I hit select uh, and it, it'll tell you if you don't have numbers for people, um, the quarterly call campaign uh, campaign is actually from our call plan is from Keller Williams so this was this quarterly call plan allows you to be reminded quarterly to reach out to your contacts while logging notes for your interactions because the great thing is when it this pops up if you're using the command app which it is makes the DT DTD2 system incredibly easy because you can just call directly from the app and then as soon as you hang up on the phone it'll prompt you to log that call, that's the best part about it. So um, I highly recommend that. So if you haven't added this to your smart plans yet, just make sure you're in that smart plans library. You click on library and you scroll down here till you see the Keller Williams options and see the quarterly call plan. Hit add smart plan and then once it's all saved to you, then you're gonna actually have that option when I started searching for call, uh, when setting this up, I had that option available. If you haven't done that before, this option would not show up. So this is only pulling from smart plans that you've added to your own smart plans. So uh, once you've done that, you could hit either add to plan anyway, and this will just notify you to reach out to them somehow. Uh, and so we'll just hit add to plan anyway. You can choose a start date for this. So let's just say I'm getting it all set up for the next week. You could do it that way uh, if you always wanted to get your day started ahead of time. So uh, you can hit start on the following date. You could just go boop and say, hey, this is we're gonna start this on October 3rd. Okay, we hit confirm and then we would go there. And now all of these are going to start on that date. So if we take a look at Rose's item, you see she is on a smart plan. And there are no to-do tasks, uh, no tasks com coming up. But we could see that due in the next seven days if we hit apply. Uh, oh, actually, it's not going to trigger yet because it's a smart plan. So uh, that is going to trigger um, on Monday to start. And once that starts, it's going to create a task for you to reach out to uh, Rose in this example. So. That is how the DTD2 system sets up in command. The great thing is once that gets implemented, this smart plan, it's going to remind you every single month or every single 90 days to call that person. So then you won't actually have to think about what week it is. It's just going to pop up every 90 days at that point. Uh, so you won't even have to worry about looking to see what week it's gonna call. You'll have a task to actually call them. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you have any other questions, you can always check out my website, commandconsult.com to see any all of my other training videos right here. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.